let's try something a little more complex. So here we have a part. I have a bunch of these. Um, you should uh, be able to come to my desk and grab one. Uh, doesn't matter what color, color it is. So we're going to make the multi-view drawing of this part. You'll need a multi-view sheet of paper, a nice sharp pencil, a good ruler, and a good attitude. Yeah. So let's look at this part. If I were to hold this, um, the camera looks at it, and you can kind of tell what the isometric might look like. Okay. Um, we're going to scale this down compared to the first drawing that we did. Um, instead of 3x3 three three cubes, we're going to do 2x2 two two for this one. Okay. So um, it's kind of hard to tell where the cubes start and stop, but if we look at this one right here, this would be a cube. So this would be one cube here. So imagine if I were to break this apart. You have a cube here, one cube here, this is a cube, so there's one, two, three, and then four, five cubes. Okay. This is the, um, this side right here, and this side, this length right here, those are the longest lengths. So this, what, how I'm holding it right now, that will be the best front view. This is the right side view, and then this would be the top view. Uh, let's draw it in isometric first. So remember, we're doing two by two cubes. So on your isometric paper, um, somewhere near the one, pick a point. You can dot out the diamond shape for this top part. Okay. Once you have that done, uh, we should be the rest should be pretty easy. So it's two by two cubes, that means I'm going to go one, two, one, two, and I'll draw that straight line. This line that I just drew is this line right here. I'm going to go back and up to, I'm going to close this surface off. This surface right here is this surface. Okay, now we're going to draw that side. So we're going to go down at the very minimum, so it's going to be 2, 4, 6. Okay. And this is where things get a little tricky. So if we're looking at this in isometric, um, it's in perspective because our eyes are doing that, but in isometric, we'll see all equal sides. So let's draw this back piece first. So this top right here, let's draw that first before we draw anything else. So I know that this cube right here is going to go over two at least. And then we have this other cube right here that's going to go over two. And then this in this direction two. And then again, so that in this direction two more. So I'm going to dot those out. I'll get a shape like this. Um, don't be shy uh, to ask questions and help. And also, it's important that you watch what I do first before you attempt it. And then, you know, pause the video and then you try. So that's what that shape's going to look like, this shape right here. And now we can go ahead and finish cubing that out. So we know that these, we're scaling it to two unit cubes. So this front face right here, this front face right here is this. And you should already tell that the shape is pretty much complete. Okay. So there's our part. Um, we're going to call this, we're going to label this puzzle piece A um, for the title. So puzzle piece A, uh, let's go ahead and add some hatching just to the sides. And now let's draw the multi-view part of this, um, multi-view views of this drawing. Let me sharpen my pencil. Nice sharp pencil. All right, again, so find the A. I'm gonna go up um, two for this one and over two. Well, no. I'm going to go, so see, find this right here. So 
up 3 over 3 and then line up your ruler with the grid draw a very light very light construction line you should barely see it do a vertical line going up very lightly so in our two unit scale that means that we have two four six so this first line is going to go up six so one two three four five six line up the ruler draw a construction line going across it's also going to be six wide so from the corner go one two three four five six and line it up let's move this guy out of the way draw a construction line going up what I would like to do for this video lesson is draw the front view so that you can see it first and then we'll draw the side and the top so let's draw our object lines for the front view okay so let me get my pen so you can see that So that line is six long, this line is six long. It's gonna go up two from the side here. It's gonna go over four from here. Up the rest of the way and there. And then we have to draw this square here. Okay. So if I were to label this surface A, that means that this surface is A. Do you see that? If I were to label this surface B, that means this surface right here is B. So hopefully you're starting to see um, how multi-view drawings are created. It's really, um, it's, it's a good trick to label your surfaces so that you can start to understand and see how the parts are rotated and how you should draw these multi-view drawings. Now we laid out um, the side view height and we also laid out the width. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go over by five. So from this edge I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five and line it up with the grid. Draw a construction line. The whole part, the width is four. So you see one, two, three, four. So that means I'm gonna go one, two, three, four over here on the side view. Line it up with the grid. Draw a construction line. And here's an edge or a surface. So I'm gonna line up my ruler with that surface and on the side view, draw a construction line. You'll see where that comes into play here in a second. So let's add my object lines. This surface right here, let's call that C. So we're going to draw C. So C is a 2 by 4 rectangle. Okay. And let's call this surface right here, so A, B, C, let's say that this is D. So D is a 2 by 4 rectangle, and it's along the back. So if I were to rotate this over, do you see how this drawing is going to be? Maybe you might predict what it might look like. It's nice having this overhead camera. So this is D. So in this view, D, let me point to D, and let me point to C. C is this surface. Look at the side view. There's a hidden edge in this side view. That hidden edge is B. So if we had x-ray vision on the isometric, we would see this corner as a hidden line. You see that? So that means that we need to continue this B surface edge here as hidden lines. And hidden lines 
are dashed lines. So for this example and for the rest of your multi-view drawings, a good hidden line for this scale is about two, da two dashes per unit. So there should be four dashes there. And that's B. So B is this surface. And it continues downward. And if we were Superman, we would, we would be able to see that edge. We would be able to look through that part and see that hidden surface. Let's draw the top view now. The top view is going to look like this. So let's go up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Draw a construction line, go up by four. Okay. So we have this we have this long edge right here. Okay. So you can draw that long edge on the top. Okay. Remember the width here should match. So if this is six here, the width should be six in the top. This top cube is two by two. This section right here is going over two more. And we're going to go downwards by two. You should also notice, see this edge right here? It lines up with the ruler. You see that? See how that lines up? If I had a construction line here, I would already know where to draw that line. Okay, we see our L shape here. All right, excellent. So now we have, let's label some of these surfaces. So A, B, C, D. Let's look at this. So let's find E. So if this was labeled E, where is E on the top view? E is right here. So this is our top view. Label this top, label this front, Label this side, and you can label this ISO just so you know what you're looking at. Let's we'll label this surface F. Where's F on the top view? F is here. Do you see F in the front view? No, but you can point to F, so F would be this surface. E would be this surface. Where's A on the side view? A is right here. Okay. E is right here. F is right here. Okay. So I want you to draw your isometric, draw your top front side label all of the surfaces like you see in this example this is going to be late the, the title is puzzle piece puzzle piece a and i have a bunch of these 3d printed um, if that's helpful for you come see me and grab one and create your uh, multi-view drawing of puzzle piece a